Greetings folks. In this video I'm going to be having a look at the latest range of Express LRS PWM receivers from RadioMaster. It's the ER series. We have the ER4 which is a four channel then we have three six channel and three eight channel receivers which is great news for uh, fixed wing, wing line of sight pilots. They all also have external voltage telemetry uh, or sensing either via a, a plug-in socket or a solder pad and two of them even have onboard variometers so this is excellent news for glider pilots for fixed wing line of sight glider pilots and uh, normal model flyers as well in this video i'll have a closer look at each one of them and explain what each one is uh, designed for uh, i'll also show you how to set up the voltage telemetry and how to set up the um, vario and uh, I'll show you the two methods of binding with Express LRS receivers as well. So here's the smallest one, the ER4, four channel PWM. We get a little card as well and links to the official manuals. And we also get the a bit of heat shrink and the voltage telemetry cable. There will be a solder pad on here somewhere, probably this, this one here, air external voltage, that's the, the little solder pad. Solder this wire on and connect it to the positive of your flight battery uh, or ESC. And that will give you, instead of giving you the receiver voltage telemetry, it will change to uh, the flight pack voltage. Very nice indeed. Next up is the ER6, which is a conventional cased six channel receiver. Very nicely packaged in a sturdy little box, plastic case there. And here's the receiver. So we have six channels plus a battery input plug there, which is very nice. Means you don't have to use a wire lead if you, you've got uh, six individual servos. Uh, on here we have the external voltage sensing there and we also have a UART input for future uh, sensors. I think there's going to be a GPS, external vario and external current and voltage um, from Radio Master. So that, that'll be very nice when they come out. And again we get uh, the little card and the voltage sensing cable. And here's the 8 channel version of that. Same sort of thing, we have eight separate channel pin sets and a, a voltage pin set as well, and voltage sensing and the UART sensor input as well. Now we have the ER6G version, which is the uh, same as the six channel, but uh, decased, so a lot lighter, better for gliders, uh, although this one doesn't have the variometer built in, so this is gliders where uh, variometers aren't needed or aren't allowed. So on this one we have five channels on this end and this little uh, solder pad here is for channel six. And voltage, external voltage telemetry pad there. Here's the eight channel version, a little bit more of a, a full case and we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five channels on that end and three channels plus, plus battery on the other end. Same thing, boot button uh, voltage sensing on the other side. And these are the exciting ones. These are the 6 and 8 channel with variometer built in. That will be a very useful glider receiver. Express LRS superior range and penetration. And you'll note that the antennas are quite thick. They're, they're quite uh, robust. They're not going to be flimsy at all. So that's a good thing because uh, little slim antennas can often be nipped and broken and um, cause a lot of problems. All of the receivers are preloaded with Express LRS 3.2.1 and the, the targets uh, won't be available until 3.3 comes out. I think 3.3 has just been released actually, so the targets should be available. You need to have the version 3 ELRS Lua script on your radio to be able to configure them. And in the manuals they say that uh, when you first power it up, it should go straight into binding mode, so you'll get two flashes. Uh, repeated and uh, you should be able to use the Lua script to bind to your radio if, if you don't have a passphrase already on your uh, radio. I do have a passphrase on my Zorro. I don't have the passphrase on the Ranger module so I'll be able to show both ways of binding. Alright I have the ER6 here. Let's 
plug the battery in, uh, negative goes down. First time you plug it in, it goes straight into binding mode, which it has done there. So now we go to the Lua script. Tools, Express LRS version 3, execute. Scroll down to bind. And we get the slow flashing light which now changes to the blue light. So I think we are now bound. Let's just uh, test that as always with a, a servo. Plug the servo in. And to prove that it is actually bound, we have servo action. So it's as easy as that. If you ever need to put it into bind mode again in the future, uh, then the way to do that is to just connect power and disconnect three times in a row and it should put it into bind mode again, but uh, this one's actually already bound, so uh, it's not going to do that, I don't think. This one's staying bound. I might need to reset it to unbind it, basically, but there you go. That's how to do the basic bind. As I said before, I already have a passphrase on my uh, ELRS Zorro, so let's go and show you how to put a passphrase on the receiver so it will automatically bind to your transmitter. So to set up a passphrase, what we do is connect up the receiver. Don't do anything for 60 seconds or it might be 30 seconds and it will start fast flashing, which means it's in Wi-Fi mode. And once it's in Wi-Fi mode, you will see, if you look at your Wi-Fi on your computer, you will see the Express LRS RX network show up. And if you join that network, then you'll see the Express LRS page pop up. Uh, and uh, with this, you can uh, insert a, pa a passphrase here. So this, this is the network that the receiver itself is generating. Um, so let's put in a passphrase. Mine is one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, and save and reboot. You can also do other things with the receivers as well, such as uh, in initiate model match, uh, change the channel, associations um, and all those sorts of things but uh, we won't worry about that for this video let's just do adding the binding phrase uh, or pass phrase then you do save and reboot upload successful reboot and you'll see the receiver starting to slow flash then it turns to a solid light and that means it's bound so let's again try that with the receiver uh, with the Servo. And there we are, bound with the passphrase. So now I'll quickly show you how to set up the Vario. This is the ER8GV. So that's the 8 channel with the Vario on board. It's bound. Uh, so now we go to model page across to telemetry. discover new sensors and then all the sensors show up and vertical speed is the vario and altitude is the vario as well so uh, that's all good so now we scroll down below that and we go to vario stop discovery first vario we tell it what the source is and that will be the vertical speed vertical speed there it is And we also go to special functions and set up a switch to turn on the Vario. Just show you how to do that. Select a switch and then select Vario from the list of things that, uh, that you can do. That's my Vario switch there. You can choose it to give you a tone in that center section or be silent, but uh, let's have the tone. I'll lift it up now. So that shows your glider rising or sinking. Now let's uh, go and uh, silence that center part. Go down to Vario. Uh, and here we go, center, tone or silent. I like silent. That just means if the glider isn't rising or sinking, it's silent. It only makes a beep, uh, makes a rising beep as it's going up and a, and a, a low beep once it's coming down. 
Uh, so there we go for the quick Vario setup. Now let's have a look at voltage telemetry. Now for the voltage telemetry I'll demonstrate it on the ER6 because that has a convenient plug that I can plug in there. They give you a, a single red wire to plug in there. And what I've done is soldered on a little plug here that will plug into my uh, ESC. And my ESC just happens to have uh, one of those as well, so just bridging the, the uh, battery inputs there. So that's a 3S battery, 12.2 volts I think it's at, so we should see that on screen uh, when we plug that in and, and discover sensors. Uh, now it shows under the receiver voltage. Uh, if we look at the receiver voltage here, uh, let's plug the receiver in to get it working. Receiver's plugged in. When it boots up, you'll be able to see the telemetry come live. There we go. So receiver battery is 5.5 volts, which is just the coming from the BEC on the uh, ESC. Now, if we plug the external voltage sensing in, which should give us the pack voltage. Plug that in there, and that's changed to 12.2 volts. So that is now monitoring the battery voltage rather than the uh, ESC, BEC voltage. So that's pretty cool. And if I unplug it, it will revert back to the 5.5 receiver battery. Very good. So with, there we go, that's a bit of an overview of the ER series receivers from Radio Master, Express LRS, PWM, uh, with onboard variometer on a couple of them, cased a couple of them, and decased a few of the others as well, with voltage telemetry on all of them. So that is uh, very impressive indeed. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of fixed wing line of sight pilots are going to be very happy about this. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.